Okay, so let's see how to um, calculate the distance between two ordered pairs. So if I want to know, uh, let's see, calculate distance between points. Okay, that's what we'll be doing. So if I want to know the distance between the ordered pair um, 1, comma, negative 4 and negative 2, comma, 8, this is how you can do it. You can sort of uh, draw both of them on the graph. So 1, negative 4 is down here. And then negative 2, positive 8 is up here. And what you could do, the distance between them would be this distance right here, this straight line. You can sort of uh, draw, make this straight line into a right triangle by doing this. And now you can apply Pythagorean's theorem. <coughs> um, we know the length of this side right here is 3, and the length of this side right here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, let's call the distance between them d. Then we can say from the Pythagorean theorem um, that 3 squared, right, one of the legs, 3 squared, plus the other leg squared, 12 squared, equals the hypotenuse of this right triangle, d squared. Okay, let me remind you of the Pythagorean theorem really quickly. It says leg 1 squared plus leg 2 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is always the side opposite the 90 degree angle. Okay, the other two sides are called legs. So this is the Pythagorean theorem. So we see that 9 plus 144 equals d squared. So d squared equals 153. So the distance between these two points would be the square root of 153. And you could put this in your calculator and find a decimal approximation. Okay, but let's analyze this a little more closely. Um, one way to figure out this 12 would be to take this top y coordinate, which was 8, right, 8, and then the bottom y coordinate was negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So you could take 8 minus the negative 4. To calculate the distance between two points, you simply subtract. So you take one y coordinate by, minus the other y coordinate. To calculate the x coordinate, you take um, this, this x value, which was positive 1, and you subtract from it the other x value, which was negative 1, 2. So you take 1 minus negative 2, and that gives you the other leg, the difference in the x values. So in general, um, we, can, we can write a distance formula now. The distance between two points will be the square root. Well, first of all, how about this? The distance squared, the hypotenuse will be squared, is the distance, this, sorry, I keep writing square root, is uh, the x distance squared, right? That's the horizontal distance on the right triangle, plus the y distance squared, the vertical distance, the, the upper leg, the vertical leg of the right triangle. And so um, d squared, the x distance, would be calculated by the difference between the two x values. And the y distance would be the difference between the two y values. And now the distance between the two points d, you have to take the square root of both sides. The square root would be the square root of this whole thing. Um, notice that this square root here does not undo each of the squares. The reason is because there's a plus in between. So um, I just want to point out this is not the same thing as x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus y subscript 2 minus y sub 1. That is not the same thing. The square root does not get rid of the squares because of the plus. There's no property that allows us to do that when there's a plus inside the square root. So the distance between two points is simply the square root of the difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y's squared.